Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're making this easy, healthy French beans and how to make minty. Let's go check it out. Before that, surprise, surprise, I spotted monkeys today. Look at that. Can you see them? Oh my god. I love monkeys. Can you see them? Okay, so these are French beans for aesthetic purposes. I have actually sliced it sideways. So all you need is half an onion and garlic. That's it. Chop them up. Slice them up. Ready. Okay, in a wok, you just put in like about two tablespoons of oil and then you throw in the chopped garlic and the onions okay that's it i wonder if you can smell this wow it smells good in case you guys didn't know onion and garlic is always like the key ingredient to all vegetables um, cooked in southeast asia predominantly um yeah so once it's like brownish or golden you just throw in the sliced french beans yep keep stirring sometimes people do add uh, ginger as well but it really depends like for french beans i don't um yeah and you gotta keep it real now i go in immediately with half a teaspoon of salt this is the pink himalayan salt continue to stir the salt actually helps uh, the onion garlic and the french beans to cook a little bit faster now i go in with half a teaspoon of turmeric yeah one thing about me is like i love to incorporate turmeric to all of my vegetables because it's such a royal spice man i mean honestly you guys I carry it in my backpack to be honest. I actually put turmeric into everything. <laughs> now slow the fire and then we go in with a quarter cup of water. Okay, so that uh, this kind of brings everything together. Yeah, and then I'm going to cover it. That's it. Like you still want a bit of a crunch in your beans you don't want it to be overcooked so I'm just gonna keep it there covered for like a minute and then I throw in the red chili powder just sprinkle a little bit so it just gives a little bit of spiciness saltiness it's savory and then it's crunchy it's healthy with turmeric wow it's ready guys go in with rice, serve it with like rotis, tortillas, chapatis. Wow, guys, this is it. Okay, part two. Subscribe to my channel. We're making easy minty. All right, this is um, dried mint. I actually got it in um, Istanbul, Turkey. Whatever that's accessible to you because fresh mint is cheaper and easily accessible in asian countries but in europe dried mint is easily accessible and cheaper so whatever is easy to be found you need a uh, tea obviously my tea is about to be over um, sugar just three ingredients basically to be honest um i am showing you my vessels these are my two favorite cups. I travel with them. I keep them in my backpack. Easy to carry, lightweight, easy to wash, easy to scrub. And um, yeah, I take them everywhere that I travel. I've seen a lot of backpackers using this type of mugs too. But the paint actually comes off. So it's not my thing. This one, I got it, if I'm not mistaken, from Daiso or Miniso. It was a dollar. But I always come back to them both. These are my favorite cups. They've been everywhere with me. Now you need a sieve. 
and like a teaspoon obviously i also carry my sieve with me guys oh. yes believe it or not i'm a backpacker so you need to know that um yeah so we boil water okay my angels go click the subscribe button now i'm going at one teaspoon of um tea okay and then half a teaspoon of that dried mint there you go ideally you should make it over a stove but this is just a backpacker's way of making tea now i'm pouring in the boiling hot water into my cup i'm gonna let that sit for a minute or two if you want to um look at that I've seen this in some parts of the world where they make it on top of the pot and they let it simmer but uh, this is all good two teaspoons of sugar stir it I've had mint tea in Algeria Tunisia in that part of the world especially in North Africa they did not drink tea with milk they actually drink tea with mint and yeah so I'm gonna let it sit again now time to sieve um, I'm gonna give it one stir pour it into another cup always carry two cups is so good because you can make two cups to share it with someone else sharing is caring guys I've, I've made this two cups of this and shared it with a lot of travelers wow. around the world actually now choose whatever cup you want that's why two cups are easy and then when you sieve it you wash the other cup and then you serve one cup to someone else is there so much joy in sharing yeah. life is all about sharing that's how you make friends when you're traveling hey do you want a cup of mint tea no i've never tried that okay i don't mind it so you make friends and the next day you actually go exploring with that friend It's really refreshing. 